Welcome back awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today I'm looking at a Boss Fight Studios Buck Your Hair. We're looking at be a Berserker Baboon Bruiser who I picked up here in China for relatively cheap. I think about yeah, £25, £27 maybe. Around that sort of mark. Not too bad. Looks pretty cool. He is a big brute. Now, I do like Buck Your Hair, but this is the only figure I've got. I like to go all in, but can't afford to all the other lines. Uh, but I picked him up because I've got uses for him in one of my universes, probably. I know more once I've uh, unboxed him. Pretty cool. There uh, is a whole big sort of intro about him on the side. You can pause that and you can read if you want. On the back, it shows other figures uh, available. There's Bucky, obviously. There's Jenny. There's Astral Projection Jenny. There's a Stealth Bucky. There's Dead Eye Duck. And now there's a Storm Toad. I wouldn't mind picking up a few Storm Toads. I think they're probably the best looking at the bunch, in my opinion. But they look really cool. And a sort of a Buck Your Head comic strip. Another picture of the uh, Berserker Bazoon with his gun on his shoulder. Does he have a gun in here? I can't see. Um... Looks nice. Okay, so let me unbox this and we'll take a look. Let's get into this. Okay, here he is. He does look really good. I will say that. The other thing is all these spikes you can feel when you're trying to pose and uh, manipulate him. Looks really cool. Comes with alternative hands. So his left hand is, you can see, is open to support his weight like a gorilla or ape walking on the ground. He comes with an alternative left hand, which is for gripping the gun. Can we get a focus on this? There we go. Or also, I would imagine, the banana, which is pretty cool. And an alternative right hand, which is a fist hand. Also an alternative head. Rawr bit too cartoony i think but you paint that up and that'll look really quite menacing very very cool let's get a closer look at him how he comes so this is standard head here feet's pretty cool some clothes there. it looks like what can go in maybe his gun can stow in there not sure how and it's so tight to his leg um, or maybe you can hook it on here, since there's a hole in the gun. Turn around, quite nice, needs more weathering and paint apps, but does look pretty cool. The gun itself, let me take out. Very simple, you can you could just literally, uh, I'd rather spread it black than dry brush it silver. But you could ink that, and you can make it looks slightly better it's, you know, it's very cartoony but it's based on the cartoon now the only thing i'll say so far i don't like is two things one there's not enough movement up and down on his head and speaking about that let's do the articulation i'll talk about what i don't like so head there is a small up and down there is no rule left and right but he can twist shoulders all the way around and to the sides he gets over 90 on one and under on the other because of the sculpt bicep bend he gets around 90 on his right less on the left hands just turn there's no hand articulation other than that waist he has a forwards backwards side to side he can turn the trunk he can also turn, uh, turn from the waist. Legs go out. Not too bad, to be fair. They go forward a little bit. Backwards a little bit. Kneecaps. He cannot get a straight bend on his legs. And he the sculpt gets in the way of going further back on his ankles. But his legs bend this tight. And they go that straight. His ankles go forwards quite far. Back was not, and they have a swivel as well. Now, I would have rather, I'm tempted to cut some of that or shave some of that off around his trousers there, his pants there, so he can stand up taller because then he get a much better angle. But then his head can't really look down, so he's like, 
He'll stand up quite tall. Will he balance? Yeah, he will balance, but then he's going to stand up tall. But he's, he's looking into space, you know. He's not looking down unless you want to lean him forwards like this. Then he looks pretty cool. Almost like a hunchback there. So he's a nice looking figure. His legs look like he's skipped a leg day, but there he goes, falls over. But he is nice looking. If I do a quick action pose, with, yeah, he needs more articulation in those ankles for sure. In fact, let me swap the legs around the other way, because that means he should be able to get his uh, his hand on the ground there. Very quick action pose, very easy to do. As a baboon, as a monkey, very, it's a pleasure to pose. Very, very easy, very, very nice. Get those nice uh, poses. Uh, but you really want more range of motion in some of those joints. But it does look fantastic. Hands just to pull out and plug in. I won't do the hands. Head should be, oh, that's those spikes. Should be just a uh, pull off. Oh, it does have a barbell joint in it, but it's very stiff and those spikes get in the way. You could, it's glued on. You could almost take, or you could take it off if you want to take off the spikes. Oh, I'll do this off camera. There we go. A satisfying click. Yeah, he is cool looking. And then what I'll do, let me just change his banana around. Now there is one worrying thing about this, and the same sort of thing I saw with... I can't remember his name now. Uh, the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Which one was it? I'll come back to me the name in a second. Looks great eating the banana. And that worrying thing is if you look at the shoulder here, already you can see the silver is coming off. I'm not sure, or I don't know why, toy companies don't just make the this part recess. You don't get any uh, paint rub. So if you were to modify this, you're going to have to, uh, obviously, if you're going to paint it, you have to shave down, sand down that shoulder before you paint. But he's pretty good. I like the fact that he can hold a banana and he can get it just about <laughs> to his mouth. He's a great looking figure. Okay, let me do a couple of size comparisons. So what I'm going to do now is get him posed for size comparison and come right back. Stay tuned. Okay, here he is. I've not made him as tall as possible. Otherwise, as I said, he'd be looking up, but he looks pretty cool. Can his head go down any more than that? No, it's just a shame. Okay, so I'll use a big figure first. And that's going to be a Joy Toy 40k um, Ultramarine. Since uh, this Berserker Baboon Bruiser is big as well. And you see that he towers above. Well, he is taller, but he's a lot broader and chunkier. If I use a regular size figure, I'll use the fantastic grey figure, uh, Grave Feather by Fortnite, who I reviewed the other day. See, he says the video's top right of your screen now, who's absolutely fantastic. And you see, like, yeah, he, he is just a big, chunky boy. And then I will use one more. I'm going to use another ape. Oh, stay standing up. I'll use another ape, but a huge different scale ape. And this is from McFarlane from the spawn line. Saigor. And you see that? Yep. He is now being overshadowed by this huge ape here. But he is a great looking figure. I do like him. He really catches the feel of the Buck Your Hair cartoon, which is obviously what they wanted to do. Um... But for customising purposes, you'd want to shave down, as I said, some of the ankle or some of the trousers around the ankle, the pants around the ankle, so you can move his ankles more. And you really want to figure out a way of getting that head to go forwards more because he's standing up a bit more straight. OK, if you've not done so already, please join the Patreon. Become part of the Patreon family. There'll be a link in the video description. You see videos first, you see them early, and you also get exclusive content. And also there are things on the channel which you can't see else. Where? Se top secret stuff. So it'd be worth you checking that out. Like and share if not done so already. Subscribe to the Awesome Action Toys YouTube channel. 
and check out the other videos. There's over a thousand on the channel. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.